Hello, and welcome or welcome back to the AGF Design Studio channel. My name's Alana, I'm a freelance lettering artist and designer, and today's video is going to be all about Adobe Fresco 4.2 update. We're going to be looking at a few key updates to the app that you can use right now, and they're going to improve the way that you're drawing, the way that you're organizing, and more. So, without further ado, grab your iPad and let's jump in. So this first update has to do with folders and file organization in the app. If you go to the Your Files section on the left here, you're going to have all of your files that you've ever created in Adobe Fresco. In the top right hand corner here, you have the new folder option. So let's just give our folder a name. So now with this new update, we can hit this select option and we can start tapping any free floating files and select multiple at a time. Then at the bottom, we're gonna hit move to. So now I can take those files, tap them to go into folder two, and to confirm that selection, I'll just hit move here. And then you'll see it as it updates, it'll confirm how many items you moved. So now I can go right into that folder and see all of these files in this folder neatly organized. Before it was more of a hassle and a pain, dragging and dropping, there was no multiple selection option. So make sure that you take advantage of this feature. You also have the option to hit the three dot icon here and you can hit move to and select any of the folders in your gallery view as well. You always have the option of changing the way that your files are viewed. So you can do it by date modified, date created or by name. And you can also use this up and down arrow for most recent and your oldest files as well. So one of the cool things about Adobe Fresco is thanks to technology powered by Adobe Sensei, you have these really realistic looking brushes. And that includes these particularly cool brushes called live brushes. This update will be to our oil paint brushes. So I'm just gonna grab this one, oil paint round. So this is like a nice streak of like oil paint. You're adding it to your canvas. But with this update, you can make your oil paint look even thicker with more texture. So to do that, you're just gonna go to the bottom left-hand corner here. You're gonna tap the flow meter and you can slide that all the way up to get this really nice, thick, textured effect with your paint. I mean, how cool is that? So you can enjoy thicker looking oil paint on your canvas right now just by adjusting your flow. And as with any of your brushes, you can go to your brush settings at the bottom left-hand corner here, and you can adjust it further in any way that you like. You'll notice that there's a bit of a canvas texture in this brush, but if you prefer no texture, you can just check that off. There's a lot of great potential here with the oil paint brushes. And this is a really fun and cool update, especially if you use Adobe Fresco in a way to mimic those nice traditional materials without any of the mess. So this is really cool to see land in the app and I encourage you to check it out. Next, we have even more brush news. So let's check out our next update. So every season, Kyle T. Webster, brush maker and Adobe evangelist gives us a new brush pack to enjoy. So I'm gonna show you how to install the new fall 2022 brushes. You can go to your pixel brushes category here. And at the bottom, you're just gonna select add brushes and then discover new brushes. Automatically, this panel will show up and you'll see that the fall 2022 brushes is the newest pack. And if you don't already have it installed, you can just tap add and it'll be added to your app automatically. So once you have it installed, 
you're going to go back to your pixel brushes category and you're just going to scroll down make sure you're in your library brushes section and just make sure that you see fall 2022 brushes installed so let's take a look at a few of my favorites the maple brush I mean, it wouldn't be a fall 2022 brush pack without some leaves. So I think that's just like so pretty, so beautiful. It's almost just like a string of beautiful leaves. And it's, you can see the essence of the leaf shape without it being so literal and like stamp-like. You'll see there's two of these brushes, Cubercle. <laughs> And I think once you see it, you'll understand why it's called that. <laughs> so if you look, you can see a bunch of squares and like circles sort of overlaying on top of one, one another in this really cool way. What I love about this brush is because it creates so much texture and you've got the pressure sensitivity as well. So as you put more pressure on the brush, you'll get areas that are lighter and darker. So I think that's just so beautiful. And it just is a great way to fill your canvas with just a lot of texture and personality right out the gate. Obviously you can always adjust your brush size if you don't want that much going on at a time. All right, this next update comes in a bit of a smaller package. Let's take a look. So this might look a little familiar. This is because I've opened my Adobe Fresco document from my iPad on to my iPhone. So I use an iPhone 12 mini and the new update to the iPhone version of Fresco is that you can now enjoy the liquify tools in the iPhone version of the app. All you have to do is go to the transform section and then you'll see liquify at the very bottom, just like you would on the iPad. And then you have all of these options on the left-hand side. So just like that, you can start warping and transforming. So these are really cool to see come to the Fresco app. And I knew I was super excited when I saw them come to the iPad. So having this option on the iPhone as well is pretty cool. Any of these can be undone using the undo and redo options at the bottom. You can also reset completely by just hitting the reset button. Do you want to learn more about Adobe Fresco on the iPhone? Let me know in a comment down below. Remember that you can open any of your documents from the iPad onto the iPhone version of Adobe Fresco as long as you have enough device storage available. Don't forget, Adobe Fresco is a free app to use. So download it today and have fun. Want to learn more about Adobe Fresco? I have a whole playlist full of Adobe Fresco tutorials for you to enjoy right over here. If you're not part of the community yet, hit that subscribe button and leave me a comment down below with any questions that you have. Thanks so much, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.